I have a minced beef jollof spaghetti recipe that has almost a million views and this recipe is even better. The process is straightforward and the ingredients are easy to find. Do subscribe so that you do not miss any other delicious recipe from me. Let's get cooking. In a pan, I'm going to add some vegetable oil, allow it to heat up a bit and then add our chopped red onion. Then mix that a bit, allow it to fry for about a minute just so that the flavor of the onions comes through. The best time to add your thyme and your curry powder is in the oil so that it will just heat up. Frying it in the oil is going to wake up the spices. Everywhere is going to be so aromatic and it's going to be more flavorful. Try this instead of just putting it directly like in the soup or anything you're making. Fry it in the oil first. Next, I'm going to just transfer my minced beef into that pan, break it apart into little pieces until it is browned. How do you get minced beef? You can just get your soft beef and blend it in a processor, or some people use blenders, or you can just pound it. That's how you can get minced beef. If you can find a place where you can just buy already minced beef, or you can use an alternative which is corned beef. It's just you have to pay attention to the fact that corned beef is very salty. So try to regulate the salt that you use if you're using corned beef. I'm going to season the beef with some beef stock powder. I'm also going to add some salt and then mix everything together, allow to continue cooking. I will introduce the tomato puree at this point and mix everything together. It gives it such a lovely deep red color and it is such a perfect base for this recipe. This process is almost like making jollof rice. Of course, you know my jollof rice recipe is world famous, like people talk about it every day. If you've not tried my jollof rice recipe, <laughs> you're missing out on a lot. Check my YouTube channel for my jollof recipes. I have the ones for like small portions and I have recipes for like big parties. And I also have recipes for all kinds of Nigerian meals. If you're looking to perfect your Nigerian meal skills, download my cookbooks, they are ebooks, they are also available on Amazon, you will be glad you did. The response I get from everybody trying it out just, just blows my mind and makes me so happy and I'm so happy that I can share recipes from my kitchen to you and you can replicate and get amazing results. So the link is going to be in my description box. Now I'm adding my ginger and garlic stock. There's this stock I make that is kind of like sometimes chicken stock or beef stock but it is filled with garlic, ginger and some really lovely herbs. It makes this dish really really fragrant and delicious. If you want me to show you how to make it let me know in the comment section. While the sauce is cooking on low heat, we're going to put water in a pot, bring it to a boil and transfer our pasta. We're adding salt to the water. The pasta I'm using today is called Bucatini pasta. And you guys, this pasta, you can put it in a cup and sip water from a cup with it. That's the kind of pasta it is. It looks like spaghetti, but it has a hole in the middle and it is bigger, like fatter than your regular spaghetti. So that's what I'm using today. 
I've portioned the sauce into bowls, some I'm going to use now while the rest I'm going to use later. This is one way to batch cook, it saves you time. So batch cooking is basically you cooking more portions than you need at a particular time so that you can eat it later. That's the benefit of meal planning and meal prepping. You guys go to the link in my bio and download my full timetable because it has a meal plan that I have already made for you. Anyways, back to this sauce. I'm adding some carrots. I'm also going to add um, some green bell pepper, red bell pepper. At this point, feel free to add anything you like. You can add your sweet corn. You can add extra types of beef or just extra things that you want in your jollof pasta. You can use this sauce for other recipes but today we're just focusing on making our pasta so I've just added the pasta to the pan added some pasta water do not discard your pasta water added a bit more of beef stock and then we're just going to mix everything together it is bubbling nicely we need the sauce to combine with the pasta and this pasta was perfect because you know I told you it has holes inside so the sauce entered the holes and every bite of pasta was just delicious if you've ever tried this type of pasta let me know in the comment section Finishing touch to this dish is adding some spring onions. You guys, takes it to another level. Dish your pasta and enjoy. I hope you guys try this recipe. If you do, tag me on social media. I will repost it. Tag me on Facebook, Instagram, even TikTok, anywhere, even on YouTube. I will repost your videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.